Good morning, folks. You are looking at scenes of Arctic ice melt and aspects of air oscillation that they believe also play a role in this shift. It's a video by NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. We track the Arctic ice since 1979. Few important things to note, Antarctica hit a record high for ice just one year ago and the Arctic winters have been tending to rebound quickly after summer ice loss, but the trend is unquestioned, at least up north, and that ice is disappearing. Seismologists are somewhat concerned about the recent Iceland quake swarm. Last great activity there was 150 years ago. Canary Islands have maintained one of the largest swarms since before the underwater volcano was born, and a complex emergency in Haiti where 10 million people are on the verge of starving. High pressure in the southern hemisphere moves counterclockwise, which will cool off New Zealand a bit. Greece and other parts of the Mediterranean have some rain, wind, and storm warnings. Forest fire danger in Norway as well. Argentina's death toll raised to dozens, some drowning in their cars. But the top weather threat has returned to the US. As stated in the evening update yesterday, Florida better be ready for twisters. Check local radar and tornado warnings today, please. The solar wind bottomed out just after that evening update and is slowly strengthening now. We saw another proton spike as the speed began to ramp. Luckily, the only shaking produced was of the inductive nature as simultaneous resonance. Earth footprint exiting on the north. Right of that shows all connectivity there, save two which are connected near the large active region down south. Quite a few active regions appear to have complexity, but the flaring is still nil. Venus and Mars are the two bigger objects to the left of the Sun, and they can join quite soon with a new moon not too long after. All this while the umbral fields open wide and allow coronal openings to face Earth. This begins now as the coronal hole faces us ever closer to the equator. March 28th through April 3rd had one six magnitude quake according to the USGS archive. That eight-day lull, which included the 188-day conspiracy nonsense, should be ending as the real factors do present themselves over the next week. I'll leave you with an erupting filament, a few more dancing on the eastern limb, and some sunspot close-ups. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.